you are not going to regret clicking on this video because the tips that I'm going to share with you guys are going to change your winter dressing game forever. These are not your typical tips where I tell you guys to wear knee high boots or a beret to look stylish but instead this video will make you learn some of the basics and set up a baseline or a reference point so that every time you get ready you know which pieces in your wardrobe will go with what in order to make sure that you look effortlessly chic and stylish every time. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first tip is to keep things simple and this might sound easy or pretty straightforward but it's easier said than done and that's why I have broken this down into three components. The first one is to use magic number three. Now if you're someone who's always confused on what to wear during winter season that will keep you stylish and keep you warm at the same time then this tip is for you. Uh, always go for three layers. And by three layers, I mean the first layer will be your thermal that will keep you warm and something that is skin tight. So that is your first layer and I am not counting your undergarments into this first layer. And the second layer is your main component of the outfit that will actually make you look stylish. And this can be your cardigans, your turtlenecks or your sweaters. And the third layer, it all depends on your definition of winters. So if you live in a comparatively hotter climate, uh, then you might not even need a third layer which is totally fine but here in Canada at this time of the year you definitely need a third layer which is your outerwear like your puffer jackets your coats or your parkas so these are the three layers that I think you really need to focus on and if you invest in some high quality pieces then you don't need to add a fourth layer and that way you can avoid uh, looking like a snowman or your whole outfit looking very crowded or chunky the second comment of keeping things simple is to always go for a neutral color palette and I cannot stress this point enough because when you go for some unconventional colors like orange pink neon yellow it's so difficult to find already existing pieces in your wardrobe that will go with these colors and then you end up with the feeling of having nothing to wear and you need to avoid that that makes you feel like you need to go shopping again and spend your money on more expensive items which is again not good for the environment and also not good for your pocket. So my tip is to start building your capsule wardrobe with some neutral colors and you can start with black, brown, beige or any shade of grey because these are the colors that will form the basics of your wardrobe and then you can start adding colors on top of these once you are expert in pairing up these pieces first. Now let's move on to our third and the last component of tip number one which is also an extension of our neutral color palette and this one is to use simple prints. Always go for simple prints. Please don't use some over the top loud prints unless of course you are a fashion genius who has hundreds of pieces in their wardrobe and who knows how to pair different patterns together. So please stay away from prints like big flowers, kaleidoscopic prints, some street art style prints because these are very complicated to put together and at the same time it's very difficult to make the outfit look stylish by wearing these prints. Prints like plaid, houndstooth, animal print or uh, argyle prints they look very chic during winter season again this all boils down to your own personal preference some people really like to wear big prints and that's totally fine in my personal opinion i think uh, these simple prints are very easy to pair with uh, the neutral color palette that we just talked about now if you're someone like me who does not like to put too much time or effort into their outfits in the morning then i have a shortcut for you guys and this is my self-made rule i don't know if there is a proper term for this but i call it tight loose or loose tight rule so let me explain this in detail uh, tight loose is if you are wearing something skinny or skin tight on top let's say you are wearing a bodysuit as your top then on the bottoms you can wear some tailored loose pants uh, or wide leg pants in order to make them both work so they will both go with one another if you are wearing something loose or oversized for your top let's say you are wearing an oversized turtleneck or an oversized sweater then you can go for something tight or skinny as your bottoms you can go for some leggings or skinny jeans as your bottoms and this will make sure that every time you pair these two things up you will always end up looking stylish 
no matter what this works all the time my next tip is going to be very short and simple which is to go for a french tuck now let's say you have followed the rule of loose tight you are wearing something oversized on the top and then you have something skin tight at the bottom let's say your leggings uh, so you always make sure that you tuck your sweaters in the front just like a French tuck so that your body can be divided into very flattering ratios of two thirds and one thirds that will make sure that you look slimmer and taller and also more attractive at the same time. Now that we all know what to buy and how to pair them, let's talk about elevating these pieces uh, by adding some accessories and taking it up a notch. So when I talk about accessories, the first thing that comes to my mind is minimalistic jewelry and if you have seen my previous videos you know my outfits are incomplete without these minimalistic pieces and I've been getting so many requests from you guys to show you my jewelry collection and trust me that video is a work in progress and I will publish it soon in today's video I wanted to talk about this jewelry brand called hey happiness so they sent me these two beautiful pieces the first one is a charm necklace and the second one is a pendant necklace they are both separate but I layered them up and they look absolutely stunning I'm wearing them all the time I think it's really important to have some quality pieces that will not oxidize or tarnish over time and after testing these two pieces for over a month now I'm confident about their quality and can say without a doubt that these will be ideal to add to your collection and not worry about getting them wet or exposed to the climate and also for my girls with sensitive skin out there just letting you know that their pieces pieces are hypoallergenic and nickel free and you can always mix and match and bring your creativity to play when it comes to layering their website has so many ideas on how you can layer these pieces and make them look chic and to add some more happiness to all this the brand is big supporter of sustainability one tree is planted every time you buy their product so i will leave all the links in the description box down below if you want to check it out so i think once you start adding these pieces here and there in your look uh, it makes a big difference overall and you don't need to buy a ton of necklaces earrings or rings all you need is a few minimalistic pieces like these so i would suggest uh, that you start with uh, two pieces of necklace uh, two pair of earrings and two or three rings uh, and go for some very minimalistic designs that you know uh, will suit all your uh, pieces in the closet and one thing that I think you need to keep in mind is whether you are going for a gold jewelry or a silver jewelry. And based on my complexion, my contrast, my uh, hair color, my eye color, I think gold uh, really suits my skin. So this is something that you should think about and research a little whether you want to invest in some uh, gold pieces or silver pieces. So with that, let's move on to our next step. When I think about winter outfits, one thing that automatically comes to my mind is his boots now I'm not suggesting that you go spend your money uh, and buy expensive knee-high boots all I'm saying is that please make sure the length of your boots uh, complements the outfit that you're wearing now if you look it up online there are so many types of boots we have cowboy boots we have hiking boots Chelsea boots ankle boots knee-high boots chuka boots Wellington boots and these are the names that I don't even know of so uh, it can be very confusing when you go out shopping and these boots are not cheap they are expensive and this is like a one-time investment so that you can use the same pair every year just make sure that you invest your money in something that you know will go with a number of your outfits so my suggestion would be to buy uh, Chelsea boots first and I will leave a picture on the side here for you guys on what they look like uh, I think they are very versatile and they are must have for winter wardrobe and then maybe after that you can start building up your shoe collection or boot collection uh, next year you might want to buy knee-high boots to add some variety but please don't overwhelm yourself with the amount of information that is out there on the internet and don't let the trends fool you but if you already have Chelsea boots in your wardrobe and you want to buy another pair this year I would suggest that you go for something pointed toe because that will make sure that you look taller and uh, they are flattering overall so let's move on to our final and the last step let's say you have all these neutral colors basic outfits you are satisfied with your wardrobe but 
you want to expand the number of options when it comes to outfit during winter season, then I'd suggest just grab your summer skirt, pair it up with fleece leggings that gives an illusion of sheer tight. And I've also shown this in one of my previous videos. I will leave the link somewhere up here or down in the description box. You can check it out. But I think they both look very stylish. And if you wear a turtleneck or an oversized chunky sweater on the top, it looks very nice and uh, this gives you just another option on how to look stylish uh, during winter season just in case you want to experiment with the summer pieces that you already have in your wardrobe so these are all the tips that i had on my list today i really hope that these were helpful and it sets up a reference point for you every time you get dressed up like i said in the starting of this video and if these tips did help you please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye